Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel CS Pictorial. Today's tutorial is about the binary number system. Hope you would get a better and easier understanding about the binary numbers in this tutorial. You would have already heard somewhere that the computer system understands only the binary numbers. We need to communicate with computers only with binary code. So, what is the binary number system? Why computers understand only binary code? Is binary code easier for computers? We will try to find simple answers for these questions. The number system we usually use is the traditional decimal number system. It is also called the base 10 number system as it uses 10 different digits from 0 to 9. The number system that computers use is the base 2 number system which uses only 2 digits 0 and 1. That is why it is called binary. The common term used in the binary number system is the bit. Bit is nothing but the binary digit. It has only two values, 0 and 1. The 0 represents OFF and 1 represents ON. What is KB, MB, GB, TB we usually come across in computer terms? You would all know that there are standard metrics like meter, centimeter, grams, kilograms, liter, milliliter, etc. for measuring length, weight and volume. Similarly, computers also use standard metrics to measure the network speed, memory capacity and many more. These metrics are the KB, MB, GB. The basic unit of data is a bit. A bit is a 0 or a 1. Pair of 2 bits is the crumb. Group of 4 bits is a nibble. Collection of 8 bits is a byte. The hierarchy of metrics grows as bit byte, kilobyte, megabyte, gigabyte, terabyte and so on. The next common question is why computers use binary numbers? Are binary numbers easy for computers? Computer circuitry is made of billions of transistors. The transistors could either be turned off or turned on. So, the binary numbers could be easily used to represent the off and on states of transistors. Binary numbers also minimize the computer circuitry. A set of just three transistors or three bit data can represent a maximum of eight different combinations as shown here. Okay then, it's done for today. Hope you'd have got a simple idea about binary numbers. We will come up with a simple explanation on binary arithmetic in our next tutorial. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel for more such videos. Thank you for watching.